What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the missing dimension of a cylinder when you're given the volume, right? So we're going to go over two examples. Let's start with this one right here on the left. So as you can see, it gives us a couple of pieces of information, right? It gives us the volume, it's 3,000 feet cubed. It also gives us this distance of the radius, which is 9.3 feet. And we're just trying to solve for the height of this cylinder. So in order to do this, we want to use the formula for the volume of a cylinder, which is the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared times h, where again, v is the volume, r is the radius, and h is the height. All right, so let's just plug in what we know. So first of all, it gives us the volume, right? It's 3,000 feet cubed. So we're going to say 3,000 is equal to pi times the radius squared, and the radius is 9.3. So we'll put 9.3 squared, and then we don't know the height, right? So we'll just leave that as h. So then here we're gonna get that 3,000 is equal to pi times 9.3 squared. If you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is 86.49. And again, we're multiplying by h. So then here we get 3,000 is equal to 86.49 times pi, which is equal to approximately 271.72. And again, lastly, we're multiplying by h. Now here we can isolate h, right? We just need to get rid of this, oops. We just need to get rid of this 271.72 by dividing both sides by 271.72. All right, so on this side, these cancel out and all we're left with is h, so we get that h is equal to this, which is approximately equal to 11. Okay, great, so we found what h is equal to 11, and what are our units feet, right? So h right here is equal to 11 feet. Boom. All right, so not too bad, right? So let's clean this up, boom, and try one more here. So for this last one, again, it gives us the volume, right? 1,696.5 meters cubed. Here we're looking for the radius, but this time it does give us the height. So again, we're gonna to wanna to use the same formula to find the volume of a cylinder. So that's the volume is equal to pi r squared times h. So plugging in what we know, we know the, the, the volume. So that's 1696.5, and that's equal to pi times the radius, which we don't know. So that'll stay as the radius squared. And the height we do know this time, right? That's 15 meters right there. All right, so here we're gonna get that 1696.5 is equal to, we can multiply these two together, 15 and pi. And if you do that, you'll get that those are equal to about 47.12. And then again, we're still multiplying by the radius squared, right? Now, in order to isolate r, we can finally get rid of this number, This 47.12 by dividing both sides by 47.12. So on this side, those cancel out, and we're left with r squared is equal to this thing right here, which is about 36, all right? So to solve for r squared, we need to get rid of this exponent. We can do that by taking the square root of both sides. So then on this side, the square root, or the radical, and the squared exponent cancel out, and we're left with just r, so r is equal to the square root of 36, which is equal to six, all right? So that's the radius, and what are the units? Meters, right? So r up here is equal to six meters, boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.